Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a bag collection. I do have quite some bags, and I mainly use bags for travel, but occasionally I may use one of them for like putting my MacBook in if I'm going to the cafe. I mainly use tote bags because I just feel like they just fit more stuff. Um, but yeah, I do like having bags. I feel like having a bag does complete an outfit. Like I said, I do not wear bags every single day. You know, they're just mainly for travel or if I need a quick little something to put my cards in. That's just, you know, usually how I wear my bags, but I typically don't wear them every single day. But I just thought I would go on here and give you guys a, a tour and a collection bag collection of some of the bags that I like and maybe this could help you decide if you know buying one of these bags is for you but if you're interested in seeing my bag collection then please continue watching so the first bag that I have is this Poland bag I don't know if you guys have heard about this brand I'm pretty sure you have it's a pretty popular brand and they make, um, I think their headquarters is in France, but their bags are made in Spain, I believe. Don't quote them. This one's made in Spain, but this is, I forgot the name of this. Um, I believe it's just like, if you just look up Poland tote bag, this would pop up. But this is a black leather Poland bag, tote bag. And I love this because it has a shorter top handle strap and also a shoulder. And this I like wearing for vacation. I'm actually planning on going to Hawaii next week, so I'll probably try to bring this one. I love this because it has snap a snap closure right here, um, and you could pretty much open it, and, and you can make it larger. So let me show you how that looks like. So you just pull this, and then the two snap closures kind of go in like this. So the snap closures just, there's some in the inside, they just kind of snap together. And then you have yourself a larger bag. And so this is, I feel really versatile. I love these leather straps they are adjustable on this side. And I love wearing this top handle. I like putting my MacBook in. If it's like, if I'm going somewhere for the weekend, just shove all my clothes in here, a couple of toiletries in this. And it's like the perfect bag, honestly. And um, the inside is full, like this like microfiber suede. And there's also a, like leather uh, snap closure in the middle as well. And then it also came with this zippy pouch, zipper pouch, where you could just put cash, you know, all your necessities in here, and it's just attached to the bag, so it could just, you know, you could just throw it in and you'll never lose it. And also I like putting my car keys in there, just make sure it's safe. But yeah, and then you just snap it into place and it, turns smaller so I really like the versatility of this bag I like the color I like the the quality of it I like pull-in bags um, I think they're just really good quality made bags and they're relatively not that expensive I believe this was like around $500 which is still a lot of money but um, for the versatility and the craftsmanship this is made in Spain handmade in Spain I think it's a really wealth really worth it price and so to me this is a really great bag if you're someone who's looking for a great everyday tote bag i think this is one of the best if you're working if you're looking for a work tote bag or just anything to put like your macbook in or whatever then i also think this is a good bag it's like I, like i said really versatile with the two straps i wish they were detachable but i mean i get that they're both stitched on the bag but yeah it's just a really good bag and i love the um the pull-in stamp right here and this is the bottom and the side so it's just a really good well-crafted bag and yeah this is my pull-in bag up next this is a Prada bag I don't wear this that much but if I'm going to vacation I need something to throw my camera in something that you know maybe I need like a little like lip product or just something sunglass case whatever this is where I would put it this is a Prada um, this is called the mini leather tote bag and it's in this super supple soft um, green calf skin here's the bottom of it it's a pretty simple bag it just has the Prada um, right here in the middle in silver and in the inside it's this the most supple like calf leather 
Like it's honestly like amazing and it's a snap closure. It's a pretty strong snap, but it just opens up like this. It's um, and there's a pocket here and a pocket here. And then the middle compartment is just open, but it snaps. So it's just, yeah, a pretty nice bag. I like putting in my camera, like I said, sunglasses, any little last things that I don't like. You know, I don't really like putting things in my pockets. I don't know why, it's just me. But I like putting my phone in here, camera, uh, sunglass case, anything like that I put in here. And it's just a nice top handle. I wish it was crossbody, but... Yeah, this is a really nice quality bag and I love Prada and yeah, I love this bag so much. So yeah, that's my Prada mini leather tote. Up next, this is just, this honestly fits nothing. This is by Y Project and um, I like this bag for just like if I'm going out to, you know, somewhere at night and I just need a quick little card and cash, then this is what I would bring. Um, it doesn't fit a phone, like, of course, but this is just very versatile. I like, like I said, just like putting cash in here, maybe a couple credit cards. Um, it also fits like, um, like a lip balm. Like if I need something, my lips are always super dry, super chapped. So I like putting in a lip balm in here, but that's honestly all I need. And then the phone, I'll just hold in my hand. So this is a really versatile bag and it's also, um, adjustable right here. It's made in this really soft calf leather and then in the back it says Y project stamped and then over here this is their signature Y uh, logo in silver and I feel like Y project not too many people know about it um, but I love their clothes they make really fun it's very like modern and cool and edgy and or not really edgy but it's just cool stuff like you need to check out this brand they make really good men's and women's clothing like i d i definitely want to add more pieces from this brand and so yeah this is white project up next these are my long champ bags as you can tell i have a lot of long champ bags and i really love the brand um, I love the equestrian style of the brand. I like the logo. I think it's just a really good versatile bag. And also, I just love how... Honestly, I like the pricing on them. I feel like the pricing is not too extreme for like and just a nice everyday bag. So, I really like Longchamp. But this first one, this is a fully calf leather um, Longchamp. This is more of like a weekender bag to me. And... Um, it has the strap. I don't know where it is, but it has a long canvas strap that says long champ. So I like, you know, this for the weekend or for vacation or if I just need a quick like carry on um, personal item. This is like my go to bag. Um, it doesn't fit. I mean, it's like not super wide, but I mean, to me, it fits a pretty good amount. And yeah, I just really like the quality of this bag. The inside is fully lined and it's, it has like the long champ logo and it has a perfect um, compartment here for your laptop so that's what I really love so, like if I'm going to somewhere for a business or whatever and I need to just put my quick laptop in here make sure that my laptop is safe this is a really good bag for that I love this calf leather you guys like the quality like is insane when I I'm not kidding when it literally it literally like feels like butter it's like butter soft you guys it's it's just incredible I love just like feeling this it's so nice i love this type of um, leather grain and it's just such a great bag you guys it's such a great bag for the weekend if you're looking for this just look up long champ um leather bag and i'm pretty sure you'll you'll see it this was a little bit on the pricier side compared to their like canvas versions and so this i believe was around i believe i paid around 600 700 around there i don't really remember i bought this a couple years ago but i really love the quality of this i also like um the little zipper here and this gunmetal. It's just a great bag, you guys. I like Longchamp. You need to look into it. Um, their leather toe is really great quality, so I highly, highly recommend it. Up next, this is just um, uh, their classic, like, uh, I don't know what material this is, like, nylon, I guess. Like, it's just like a nylon bag, and it's in gray, and it has the embroidery right here, leather detailing right here. And me, for this, I... I actually like take this to the gym. I feel like it's a good gym bag Like I wouldn't wear this out or anything like that and it's also kind of small for travel 
So I pretty much just wear this to the gym. Um, it's just like a nice like water resistant um, like nylon fabric and yeah this is just a really nice gym bag and if you're looking for something a little bit more elevated then this is a good gym bag or if you're a type of person that you just want to wear this out you can also is a good everyday bag I mean it's very um, durable so that's what I really like about their nylon products and this is I think their most popular seller is just like is this type of bag so yeah this I really highly recommend and I also like that shade of gray um, up next I have uh, this is their shoulder bag in uh, like this navy blue leather and this is really nice as well it's just a really nice shoulder bag I like the zipper detail here and um, it's just a really nice wide compartment I one of my friends actually got me this like organizer so it's really nice to organize everything this is also a really good traveler bag weekender bag if you're just going somewhere for a couple days and you just need some clothes your toiletries this is a great bag for that it's also very comfortable on the shoulder so yeah i really like this and i think the size is really good as well it's just a nice good sized shoulder tote and i also love this shade of blue and so yeah this is a really nice bag and i also from the same kind of like leather i have this so this is more of like just like a top handle I would say this is more like a briefcase kind of, but not really, it's because it's top handle. But um, yeah, this is a really nice bag as well. This is the bag that I would take to like a cafe because it has a perfect slot right here that fits my MacBook. So I'm like, this is perfect. And so it's pretty slim. So that's why I said it's kind of like a briefcase because it's pretty slim. But um, I highly, like, I really just like love Longchamp. I feel like their pricing is really good. I feel like this, I think this was like 200 something. This is also like $200. And to me, this is like really worth the investment. And it's honestly only $200. Like this is a pretty good price for what you're getting. And it's also very durable. Like I could literally scratch this and it's, it's so durable. So I really like Longchamp and I really like these bags that I have. And I'm definitely looking to adding more Longchamp bags in the future. I just love their quality. I love the equestrian stuff style and I just think they're such great weekender travel bags and also everyday bags even though I don't wear them every day but yeah that's my long champ collection up next this is my Marc Jacobs tote bag in this blue color and I got this as a gift many many years ago but I really truly love it it has this long thick black strap I typically don't really wear this that much anymore just because I have so many other bags especially bags where it's like for business or for work or for my laptop. I have so many other ones for that. So I typically don't really gravitate towards this one anymore, but this is a, I mean, honestly like a pretty good bag. Like I would see myself wearing this for like the beach maybe, putting in some stuff cause it's like this thick canvas, but it's just a really durable bag. I really like the color. My favorite shade of, uh, my favorite shade is blue. So I really like this bag and I like this sky blue color. And yeah, that's my tote by Marc Jacobs. Since I'm on the Marc Jacobs, I also have this little clutch. Well, I don't really wear it as a clutch, but it's just a nice bag to put all my things in, cash. Um, this I like putting in my other bags for like, if I'm like a little bit of toiletries, cash, just fit it in your bag and it's good to go. And then also if I'm not, like if I'm going somewhere and I need like just cash or, you know, I don't really want to put things in my pocket, I would just put it in this because it has like, um, this front compartment and then the zipper so it's just a nice little toiletry pouch and it also matches kind of this so it's like the little but well not really exactly but it's in the same like blue family and so I like the two shades of blue in this and yeah this is my Marc Jacobs little like clutch bag and that is it guys that's my full bag collection I don't really have that many but like I said I don't really wear bags on the daily and so this is just like a small little curated collection that I have of bags that I truly love and that I really wear if I'm going somewhere for the weekend or if I'm going somewhere on vacation. I feel like these are the best bags for that. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed to this channel. And if you are looking for more future content on luxury, on luxury items, niche perfumes and travel, then I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. And I would see you guys in the next one.